Holst calls it the, the bringer of old age. I don't think that's an accurate name for Saturn. I would call it the bringer of space pretties because it's so beautiful. The whole ring system is absolutely stunning. When I listen to the music, it reminds me a little bit of scary sci-fi movies. You know you're looking at something very beautiful, but there's this sort of sense that something's not quite right. And uh, that's how it starts. And then towards the end, it actually becomes, there are moments where everything becomes very nice and melodious again. And that for me sort of sums up this sort of mysterious system. But when you actually get up close and, and, and peer into the details, you realize just how pretty this place is. Uh, so the rings, uh, I hesitate to use this word, but there are billions of particles in the rings and most of them are as small as dust particles, sort of icy, rocky things. Uh, some are as big as houses, but they're all orbiting at their own speed and they look incredibly pretty because they've got icy material in them, they reflect sunlight really brightly and we get to see them easily from Earth and it's something you can see in a backyard telescope. I recommend it. Cassini is a, a space probe. It ended its mission just last year, 20, uh, 2017, but it had been living in orbit around Saturn for 13 years and sending back some of the most stunning images I've ever seen from a probe in our own solar system. Uh, so that means views of Saturn's rings, the night side of Saturn, the day side. You, you even see Saturn shining light down onto the rings, the structure of the rings, raised areas, lowered areas, all these kind of pictures are stunning. And at the same time, Cassini, while it was visiting Saturn, was also visiting all of its moons, so doing flybys of various different ones and found some amazing things about those moons as well. Now, Enceladus is really special because we know it has a subsurface ocean, it's an icy surface, and it's actually currently spitting out plumes of watery, icy stuff into space. So we know it's a bit active, and maybe somewhere in the solar system we want to go looking for life. You also have Titan, which is also rare in the solar system in that it's quite a big moon, larger than ours, uh, and has a very thick atmosphere. It's very smoggy, but it also has lakes of liquid methane on its surface. So it's the only other place in the solar system that has liquid of any kind on its surface that's relatively stable. And the sky itself is kind of a burnt orange color. It's very smoggy. And we had to send a lander to Titan, the Huygens lander, just to let us see what it actually looked like. And you can see carved river channels and evidence of this methane-like water cycle that Titan has. Very pretty. You have a lot of Cassini data that you can go and dive into and see some of the space pretties that I'm talking about. What a planet.